Hi guys, welcome to Linguistics and Literature. In today's video, we will be discussing about semantics. You know that semantics is a type of linguistics and it is the very important type in which uh, we are discussing the meaning of uh, words, sentences, phrases and clauses, etc, etc. So we will be discussing this topic today. You people have to watch the video. And if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, so we are starting now semantics semantics is the study of meaning in a language means semantics itself is studying of meaning in a language focusing on how words phrases and sentences can convey meaning mean how the words and uh, phrases sentences can convey the meaning means there can be different meaning literal meaning can be different and the deep meaning can be different so this is what the deep study about the words the sentences the phrases that how do they convey the meaning is actually our semantics it explores how language elements combine to produce specific interpretation and it can be divided into two main branches means it explores how language elements combine means how the elements of the language a language can be combined to produce specific uh, interpretations and they can be divided into two main branches this can be divided into two branches one is lexical semantics it is a uh, meaning of individual words means it is uh, studying about the meaning of individual words not in the sentence not in the phrase like uh, what the words give the meaning uh, individually and compositional semantics how meanings of words combine to create meaning uh, in phrase and sentences compositional it is clear from its uh, name that uh, how we can compose sentences and how the sentences the phrases and the clauses will give the meaning this is actually the study of compositional semantics example of semantic in language for example one simple example to know about the semantic we have an example so here i have taken a word uh, it is bank and you know that bank has two meanings one is a financial institution and second is river edge this is also a bank means water bank and money bank you can say these are the example and we have the example of uh, composition also sentence like the cat sat on the mat the meaning depends on understanding each word and how they interact to describe an event so this is what our another example okay now types of lexical semantics now the lexical semantics uh, has a lot of types we have polysemy first so you know that polysemy prototype synonym antonym homonym uh, homonym homograph homophones all these are the types of uh, lexical semantics but i have taken few examples for you to make you understand you have, have people have to know these are uh, part of this group polysemy words with multiple related meanings example had part of the body leader a group a leader of a group top of an object all these are called had we already do we know that in our everyday life we do focus on this when we talk about had okay so we can have other examples and the second is homonymy we can say homonym homonym okay words with multiple unrelated meanings for example bat we can say an animal a piece of sports equipment this is another example and one word can give different meanings like uh, animal sport equipment likewise synonym you can say as uh, same meaning and it is also called synonymy words with similar or identical meanings the words which contain similar or identical meanings are called synonym okay it is very easy you know the big and large are the same meaning second is antonym or antonymy words with opposite meanings means the words which contain 
opposite meaning is called antonym or antonymy so example hot and cold we can have a lot of other examples and another one is a uh, hyponymy hierarchical uh, relationship where one word is a subtype of another example rose is a hyponym of flower so this is what this is called hyponymy last one is meronymy part whole relationships example wheel is a part of car this is the example very beautiful example types of compositional semantics in compositional semantics the very first type is predicate logic break breaks down sentence to analyze subject predicate structure example we have is here john is a teacher john is a teacher subject john plus predicate is a teacher this is with the uh, predicate logic in a sentence you know that we have two uh, parts of the sentence subject and predicate so this is called uh, predicate logic truth conditions the condition under which a sentence is considered true example the sentence it is raining is true only if it rains if rain is cackering means that the sentence you are making if the action is happening it means that it is true otherwise you are making just the general sentences that is we cannot say true truth condition this is called thematic roles roles that words play in a relation to the action in a sentence roles that words play in relation to the action in a sentence example mary gave john a book mary agent john recipient book theme these are very easy you can say that mary subject is called a uh, agent john is a recipient object and a book is theme that is the object that that is given okay compositionality the meaning of phrase of a phrase sentence is derived from the meaning of its part like a green apple derived from combining the meaning meanings of green and apple so this is called a uh, compositionality so i hope that you people have understood this video if you are new to the channel you people have to subscribe uh, i will remind you again thank you so much for watching have a great day allah hafiz